All right, well, more people than almost ever before are getting ready to drive for their Thanksgiving getaways, but will their cars be ready? Now, every weekend, we're going to get you ready to ride as well. Our holiday travel tales today are focused on how to best prepare your trip before you get behind the wheel. Earlier this morning, the AMHQ weekend team talked with our car coach, Lauren Fix. With winter coming a little early, she gives us a heads up on the big things we should look for. Have your wiper blades changed. You're supposed to be replaced every six months about visibility. So that means have your headlights checked. If they're not as bright as they used to be, they're supposed to be replaced every two years. And then, of course, while you're at it, look at your tires. If you don't know what you're doing, that's fine. A mechanic can check that out for you. Check your tire pressures because with the snow that we got here, I had my snow tires on, but a lot of people were not prepared. So November 15th to April 15th is the time to have winter tires. And if you think, oh, you know, I live in... Virginia or somewhere in the middle of the country and you think I don't need it, you probably will because below 40 degrees, there's a 40 degree rule. Your all season tires don't really give you great traction. So this is the time to consider winter tires. And if you think I have no place to store them, you'd be surprised how many places will store them for you, whether it's a dealership or a tire store. They want to, they want your business and that's how they keep you coming back. Interesting, well, interesting. Collided. Okay, so we are used to getting our oil change every three to 5,000 miles, but how can the weather affect that exact schedule? Well, in reality, you should change your oil every 5,000 miles. If you use full synthetic 7,500 to 10,000, how do you know? That book in your glove box underneath all the napkins and ketchup packs, that's the one that tells you when to change your oil, and every car is different. Also, there are nine fluids in a car, so make sure to change all those fluids as well. But it's a great time when I call the four C's. Check everything. Change is the other second C. Change to winter things. Put winter items in your emergency kit, like hats and gloves and boots. Carry an emergency kit, and if you haven't updated it, do so. And then clean. Always bring extra washer fluid, because once it starts melting, it gets very sloppy. And that's going to affect your, your visibility. And you don't want to be tailgating a pickup truck or a big rig just to get moisture on your windshield. Yeah, good point there. And since a lot of us are traveling Dangerous. with our families, our cars may be a little heavier yes, than usual. Uh, so what do we need to check for when it comes to having a little extra baggage in our cars? Well, remember to take the extra junk out of your trunk, which would be like golf clubs and things you're not going to use, because that extra weight actually puts more load on the tires. I'm not telling you to add extra air pressure. What I'd like you to do is make sure it's correct. You find the number inside your driver's door. You use that same pressure year-round. It's designed for your vehicle. So you may have two vehicles that are the same but different trim levels. They may have different tire pressures. So it's really important to use that number inside your driver's door. Check the tire pressure in the morning when the tires are cold and use a digital tire pressure gauge. I know it takes longer to brake, too, when you've got more weight added mm -hmm. to the car as well. Yes, and especially very true. Things.